policing women's bodies and why it's the last straw of control for women. So, yeah, the reason, the petty reason that got me to wanting to talk about this topic is indeed a minor inconvenience that happened to me at work based on the slight threat of sending me home based on what I was wearing. And oh my god, did this trigger me. It didn't trigger me because I was afraid to lose the hours. What I would be more intentional about feeling away is that it sparked something in me. You know, I feel more about the way I feel about it than what it was that actually happened to me. Because what actually happened to me is something that happens to everybody. And what I would assume was an issue that would, you know, kind of go away after a while. After it became established that we didn't have to police women's bodies anymore. You know, based on what they wore and how to address them. It's like... People don't respect women on like a consistent basis enough for me to really be given a f about what I wear half the time. But one could also see that as like a as like a doomer way of looking at things. Like I genuinely don't even care that much. But because I know society is obsessed with women's bodies and what they do or do not do to them, I can't I can't contest. I can't I don't want a dog in that fight, but my dog is already in that fight. You feel me? And it's upsetting. Like, I think I'm like traumatized by the event that existing as a woman has put me in the position where I'm also being police or control in this manner. I don't want to be control. Like, I'm fighting for my autonomy every day. It seems like. It feels like. And you know, I've just chucked that up to being, you know, in my young 20s. I'm really finna hit mid 20s by the end of November. Midlife crisis. Crisis. Early 20s crisis. Crisis. Anyway, even pushing past the reality of that being like my actual situation, I like don't really care enough to make it like my whole my whole problem in life. But it's gonna be a problem if it starts messing with my mind. But of course I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's let's check back to why it really triggered the absolute mess out of me. So it, it's not a secret. Like women's bodies get policed. And if you do not believe that, you simply are not alone. <laughs> Okay, I've tried desperately hard to be seen as equals, treated as equals, but society will just the f not, in simpler words. It just will the f not. No matter how simple you try to make it, how no matter how unsexualized you try to desexualize yourself, you, as a woman, will still get the tail end of whatever... <laughs> Whatever gender wars we're always into at whatever turn of whatever decade and whatever political position is going on, man. There's always a reason to fight for women's <laughs> women's autonomy, bro. It's getting to the point where it's like, I don't want to have to prove my own autonomy just to say that I have autonomy. I know for a fact I have autonomy, so I don't feel the need to like prove that to others, especially through clothing. Now, clothing is one of the dumbest things to police women over, but it's a nice starting place if you perhaps I don't know, wanted to still, what is it called when you uh, disrespect women? When you don't respect women enough to make their own choices, have their own agency, i.e. let them choose what they want to wear. Now, it's kind of demeaning when the conversation has yet to move over to, well, men should handle themselves. If that's what we're getting, if that's what we're talking about at the end of the day, why are we not talking about men keeping it in their pants? I'm just saying like, with this whole bumble thing, <laughs> Not to throw a bubble in there, but they're really missing the mark when um, women are capable of things like celibacy. Voluntarial celibacy, by the way. Like, we're not talking about the other coin that's obviously, obviously hitting this era, bro. And it's getting like, it, it's getting to a point of weaponized incompetence where nobody's willing to say, hey, maybe the men should like really change up on the way we're thinking about this, bro. Because that's really what the birth rate issue is about. That's really what the dating scene 
dating is about. That's 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 what whole marriages are about. The failing divorce rates and everything. Like we're just refusing to see what's right the fuck in front of us, and it's getting to a point where if you're not gonna see it, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that you don't see it. I'm just gonna move on with life and live it the way I, a woman with agency, desires to live life. And that's gonna hit for a lot of folks. It's gonna hit for a lot, a lot of folks. You know, we make tons of excuses like hitting some sort of biological wall that doesn't even make sense because men would be in that same space if they don't find that perfect trad wife that we're still trying to convince young women to desire. Even though we've proven time and time again throughout the entirety of women's suffrages to depart from, but it's okay. Play with the world's population if you want to. Because why repopulate a world that don't even respect half its being? You know, if you can understand me beyond me just being a woman, I really hear me out on this point that I'm not really upset over the fact that, you know, it's an outfit. What I look like outside is really an appearance thing. It's less about what I'm actually wearing and more about the perception of me. Like, I could be wearing the exact same thing and based on my body type, it looks completely different. And I'm sick of that. <laughs> I'm honestly sick of it. More so than I should be because it's less about like the physical clothes that I'm wearing and more about the perception of being viewed. More about, it's more about controlling the way I am more than it is of controlling the way I look. Especially in the job market. Like, it ain't that serious of a job for you to really be on my dangling for what I do or do not wear. And of course, in today's age, they have gotten the most lax I think they've ever been. And honestly, ever. There was a time where it was taboo to have tattoos or taboo to have piercing. Now everyone and their mama got those johns. Seriously. I would imagine as time passes, it gets more and more ridiculous to police people over, you know, what they actually wear, how they actually wear things. Now I'm not saying that like, we're just gonna be outside wearing thongs and that's the end of the story. But in a way, we kind of need to make up our minds on like how we feel about it. Whose fault is it? Why aren't men sharing the same sort of consequence of social stigmas around dress and fit? Like women are being made to contribute to kind of like this sense of entitlement kind of. Because for me, it's less about, oh, let me just change my my shirt before I get written up at work because it's less about you know the actual shirt like I, yeah I could just get a new shirt but the deeper part that really cuts me is the fact that I know it's not just about the shirt it starts with the shirt it can be simply explained by the shirt but it's never the shirt you know and I know it's not the shirt you can't convince me it's not about the shirt because I know it isn't the real trauma comes from a time where I had less agency about myself and didn't really know where I stood amongst the idea of being sexualized, especially as a child, like any function, mainly family functions that I was supposed to be going to, there'd be a pre-argument over what I'd wear. Because at a time where you're old enough to dress yourself, but not really old enough to choose how you want to dress, it's the biggest conflict that I've honestly had to face in my life and still to this day fight over how much agency exactly do I have with what I choose to wear as a grown adult woman. And it's hard, like, especially in the professional world, I would love to chuck it up to be like, well, I'm just young and pretty. Of course people would have a thing, a problem with whatever I wear. But if whatever I wear is literally whatever I wear, then to what point am I contributing to this idea? At what point am I just wearing a shirt? And at what point am I being over-sexualized for wearing a shirt or wearing anything just being picked on because I can and for a while especially in my youth I I kind of accepted that it made sense at the time it was somewhat acceptable because there was a reasoning towards it was somewhat honorable to sort of placate to the idea of like okay as a child maybe I shouldn't wear shorts at the family function but the reasoning behind that should be much much I don't know concerning than just on the surface of like me not wearing me never wearing shorts as a child me to this day not owning too many pairs of shorts because I've been so taught that shorts are bad skirts are bad and then it being a double <laughs> A double-edged sword because eventually as I grew older and still continued to never own a piece of shorts, never own a piece of gorts or dresses, is because it's relation to my being being over-sexualized. You will never see me wearing these because <laughs> I've been taught to never show my legs essentially. I've been taught to never show my upper body essentially. And that's tragic to think that that's exactly what I've been taught, but yeah. And more or less worse, that's exactly what I've been taught. In fact, it's my fault if I ever be caught lacking wearing anything less than a full frontal, full back, 
long joint, especially in the summer, which is why this is becoming more and more of a struggle. It's becoming summertime, and I'm not really knowing how to dress for work. Not that I don't know how to dress myself, or don't know how to dress, you know, respectable. I'm just one, unwilling to spend more money when it comes to my clothing, especially for clothing that one, I'm not really sponsored to be wearing, aka no one's paying me to wear a certain clothing, so until you do, I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy more fits because it's unprofessional. That's just a me thing, that's just a me feeling type thing, you know? You can sacrifice yourself, sacrifice your own agency over your job, but I, I am myself, I am my journey, and particularly not comfortable with that because it gives it gives people the free range to still control you in that sense. It gives people that free range of your own individual agency. I refuse to let go of my agency at any point. At any point, you'd be like, Sky, this is to your benefit. Sky, like, it's to help you out. No, it's for folks, people who have nothing to do with me, to have some sort of control over me still to this day. And it kind of, it kind of opens a wound because there was a point where I was kind of too poor to afford more clothes or buy more bigger spontaneous purchases of clothes because the ones I've grown accustomed to and the ones that I keep re-wearing and keep re-washing that's why you see me do so much laundry because I really only have so many sets of clothes that I deem allowable to wear outside. Even some clothes that I own now, I don't even wear them like all around the house. And sure you can get you know way deep into respectability politics but at what point am I just not allowed to wear anything? At what point do I just start having to approve, get my my clothing approved by someone else and then who is this someone else who is approving or not approving of what clothes I'm wearing you know this could easily become like a, a complex and for a while it was I literally had to rebel by buying the clothes that I like and I like wearing buying the clothes that I like seeing myself in buying the clothes that make me feel good because why else why buy any other thing else it's honestly ridiculous and to convince an entire generation otherwise is ridiculous. You know, I've just been lucky enough for that to not have actually been a problem thus far. I haven't actually been sent home over what I've worn, but I have come close a couple of times. And, get this, it affects my perception of myself and my, I don't want to say my age, I know how old I am, but I don't know, sometimes I get insecure over the idea of still dressing like a child, which I don't even mean to, to like, kidify myself or childify my, I don't even know how to say that bro, is there even a word for that? When you still kind of like, not behave, but you're being perceived as a child because you're still following childlike rules. Adults can wear what they want, so you're then perceived as an adult when you wear what you want. But still being police in this manner, people still think I'm in high school. I got younger people thinking they're older than me. Now is it because I own stuff like this? Maybe. But do I wear stuff like this at work? Of course not. Even though this shirt is fire. Get jealous. Anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry bro. It's really an emotional tie that goes along with like not really being in the position where I always had the money to buy new clothes. And if I even were to buy new clothes, I wouldn't want to spend the little money that I do have, the little money that I do make on clothes that aren't even for me. Clothes that I'd be wearing just for the perceivance of being professional. And then slowly watching those clothes get old and being overwashed because of the only sets of clothes that I deem acceptable for work or buying things for work specifically. I'm not saving any money off that. I'm not getting any tax uh, write-offs for that. You know, if it's necessary, it's necessary. But again, that comes out of my budget every time. My job isn't paying me to wear my job isn't buying new clothes and will replace them after they get so old. No, it's on my own dime. And something about it being on my own dime makes me feel more insistent on choosing what it is I wear. If you don't have like a set standardized shirt or whatever it is for me, don't expect me to wear regular sh I mean, I am expecting more work clothes to come in the mail. I've purchased them online as a cheaper resource to obtain more clothing that's more appropriate just so I don't have to face the reality of yeah they could send me home one day if i'm working too hard my shirt rides up a little but that's all it takes and honestly it's a shame 